I work on hashtag geosandcastles, um, where we study the near surface soil behavior and the interactions of the grains and the environment to those grains on the structure and the behavior of the soil. Our primary focus is actually military applications. So mobility operations, UXO penetration, things like that. But we've had this other great opportunity present itself for which then we, we couldn't pass up. For about 25 years uh, in the Detroit area, I'd responded to several, a couple of dozen uh, trench rescue accidents. And uh, we were unable to quickly and accurately predict the, the soil forces that we were dealing with. So we were making just guesses. And luckily, I mean, it was just pure luck rather than science. Uh, we were able to get out of those without any firefighters being hurt. The real world applications for um, Dr. Taylor and Dr. LeBaugh's method is when there is a cave-in and somebody is caught in that cave-in, uh, we can quickly, just with the use of a tape measure, uh, determine the, the amount of soil force that could push up against our shoring. So in all trench accidents, uh, with people trapped in the trench, this is just an absolutely fast and easy way for first responders to gain that information that they need. First responders, and particularly firefighters, have had to put this together over the years, trial and error, with limited knowledge. So we're trying to change that. We're trying to give it a standard, give it engineering backing, and show that at least doing it this way, you, you're mitigating risks, you're reducing the failure through actual science applications. We took science, broke it, put it back together, and then applied it to one of the most dangerous situations you can have and came out on the winning side. To the first responder community and to the military as a whole, our research saves lives. That's the bottom line. We do this to do that one very thing. We wanna save lives, make things better for our military. 